I'm the Arctic campaigner. I work for Greenpeace here in San Francisco. Originally, I'm from Argentina, but I joined Greenpeace many, many years ago. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if all of you are aware, but almost three weeks ago, 30 colleagues of us were doing a peaceful uh, protest in the Russian Arctic against the oil drill. They were protesting against Gazprom, which is the first oil company that is trying to get oil from the Arctic. As you know, for us in Greenpeace, more oil means more climate change, and climate change is affecting a lot of people all around the world. To stop climate change in some way, first we have to stop those companies to get more oil from the underground. Uh, three weeks ago, our ship was there in the Russian Arctic and was boarded by the Russian Coast Guard and took everybody uh, as detainees. Last week, they were charged with piracy, which is something that didn't happen. Greenpeace doing this peaceful protest was not damaging the oil rig and we were not committing piracy. But it's sad to say that even that our colleagues are in jail today. They are inside for us and we are outside for them. So today is a global day of solidarity. Maybe our event is the last one in the 160 events that took place today in the last 24 hours. While we hand out candles, um, yeah. I, received, I would like to hear from uh, just a couple of folks if you could share um, what it was that uh, touched you about the action that the activists took. I was on the property like three years ago. Uh, I was trying to help you sign people up for Greenpeace and he's like, it's like outsourcing. You know, you're not gonna go occupy an oil rig in the Arctic anytime soon or strap on a bulletproof vest and go up against the illegal logging companies in the Amazon anytime soon. So pay someone else to do it because they're probably gonna get arrested. And just a few weeks later, this happened. So. I'm doing it because they did it for me. Um, I, I'm here for them, and, and I appreciate everything that I'm they do. I'm impressed by the people because I think they're standing up for, yeah, how you said, for something which is right, and for us, for everybody in this world. And um, it makes me angry that they get detained from Russian coast guards and from the. Yeah, I think that's not right, and I think it's important that everybody, that we stand up now and say, okay, those are important people that are doing an important job, and they're not pirates, and they're not, yeah, they're really doing the right. I know for me, um, I, uh, I loved Greenpeace for a while. I got the opportunity to intern with Greenpeace in 2001. Um, in Washington, D.C., and the Rainbow Warrior II came through Florida, and I got to go down to Florida and be a part of a protest um, against climate change to show the impacts of climate change um, on Florida and how much sea level rise will happen. And um, it was an amazing experience to get to meet the crew from all around the world. Um, I actually met someone <laughs> who I ended up dating for a while. Um, his name's Jesse Reed, and uh, he's from Port, Port Colburn, Ontario. Um, and uh, the reason that he started sailing with Greenpeace was because of his uncle Paul. Um, and his uncle Paul is, um, uh, was the first mate, and his, he's in uh, Russia right now. And um, it just really broke my heart today when I saw um, a picture that, that my, um, my former boyfriend Jesse had posted with a picture of um, his niece 
with a sign that says, uh, bring Uncle Paul home. So there's, there's a lot of people, um, all of us here, and so many more people all around the world who are touched by this powerful act of courage that these activists took. Um, and there's so many of us standing there with them. And I was saying to somebody today, my greatest hope is that we'll all come together around this and we'll raise the profile of this issue so much right now and we'll, we'll throw everything we have at it. And we won't just free our activists, but we'll also do something meaningful to address the climate crisis. And we'll be able to look back and say, well, it's really, it was actually great that that happened because um, that was the spark. That was the moment that people really woke up to what was happening to our world. And we were able to shift things. That's my dream for what this will be. And um, tonight, I'm hoping will be a special time for us all to just um, honor um, the folks who uh, boldly and courageously put their bodies on the line for our climate. Um, and, and, and to honor all of us who in, in all of our ways that we all do, um, whether it involves boarding an oil rig or whether it involves um, putting together signs or making phone calls or talking to people on the street every day and telling them about Greenpeace um, or whether it involves making changes in your life. Um, we're all climate heroes each and every one of us, and it's gonna take all of us. It's gonna take all of us to win. So I'm grateful for all of you for being here with us tonight, because um, you're a climate hero too. Yeah. Stand up for the right to peacefully protest. We stand for acting in conscience. We stand for action to protect our climate. We stand for defending the fragile Arctic and the people and animals that live there. We stand for our friends who did all of those things and are now being punished unjustly, seized at gunpoint and held in a Russian shed. Captain Peter Henry Wilcox, America. Second mate, Miguel Hernán Pérez Orsi, Argentina. Activist, Camina Speciale, Argentina. Radio operator, Colin Russell, Australia. Deckhan, Ana Paula Almiñana Maciel, Brasilia. Activist, Phil Ball, British. Videographer, Kieron Bryan. British. Activist Alexandra Harris, British. Activist Frank Hewitson, British. Activist Anthony Perret, British. Second engineer Jane Rogers, British. Boson Alexander Paul, Canadian. First mate Paul Rusicki, Canadian. Activist Faisa Oulatsen, Dutch. Chief Engineer Manes Ubels, Dutch. Sir's mate Anne Mai Roer Jensen, Danish. Activist Sina Sini Sarella, Finnish. Deckhan Francesco Pisanu, French. Dexhan Christian D'Alessandro, Italian. Boat mechanic Jonathan Beauchamp, New Zealand. Electrician David Hausman, from New Zealand. Activist Thomas Siemmin South, Polish. Activist Roman Dolkov, Dolkov, Russian. Freelance photographer Denis. Sinjakov, Russian. Russian activist whose name withheld on request, Russian. 
doctor also whose name withheld on request. Russia. Activist Dima Litvinov. Swedish American. Activist Marco Webner. Swiss. Activist whose name withheld on request. Turkish. Uncertain. Cook. Name withheld on request. Ukrainian. So I'd like to just invite folks to take a moment of silence right now. Um, and uh, send, send your thoughts of love to these activists and your thoughts of hope for our future. People who love themselves can never be broken. People